Hey guys, and welcome to day six of book o -ween. We are almost done, guys. This has gone by actually very fast. I'm actually really surprised, um, but I've had a lot of fun. I hope you guys are still having fun, and I hope you guys are excited for today's book. Today's book is Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge, and I actually had never heard of this book or seen anyone talk about this book. It came out in 2006? Yes, 2006. So it is quite an older book. So I'm kind of surprised that I've actually never heard of it before, but I have a lot to say about it. So let's talk about the cover real quick. The cover is actually really, I, it fits the book very well, except you don't really get it until you start reading the book because this doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just, <laughs> it's a very confusing book because it's like a pumpkin Thing. You know, like he's got a body out of vines and stuff and it doesn't make sense until you read the book And then once you start reading the book, it makes total sense So I really really like the cover and I actually was looking at the cover sometimes while I was reading the book just to like get a visual for the um, Person that it's portraying because it's just so weird to me and I didn't quite know what the person looked like So I keep referring to the cover just to like have an idea what was actually going on in my head. Let me read you the back. Halloween 1963. They call him the October Boy or Old Hacksaw Face or Sawtooth Jack. Whatever the name, everybody in this small Midwestern town knows who he is and how he rises from the cornfields every Halloween, a bloody butcher knife in his hand and makes his way toward town, where gangs of teenage boys eagerly await their chance to confront the legendary nightmare both the hunter and the hunted. The October boy is the prize in an annual rite of life and death. Pete McCormick knows that killing the October boy is his one chance to escape a dead end future in this one horse town. He's willing to risk everything, including his life, to be a winner for once. Before Halloween is over, Pete will look into the sawtooth face of horror and discover the terrifying true secret of the October boy. So I didn't quite know what I was getting into when I read the back of this book. I understood that it was like a monster that they were going to fight, but it's actually a lot more to it than it seems. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with that, but let me just give you a quick synopsis real quick. So this town has a crazy weird Halloween tradition. Five days before Halloween, the boys of the town, 16 through 18 years old, are locked in their rooms without food for five days until Halloween night when they're released and allowed to go catch the October boy. So if you are the lucky winner to catch and kill the October boy before he reaches the church at midnight, then your life is going to be transformed. You'll get a new house, your family will get a new car, you will you won't have to pay any bills for a whole year, you get money and you can actually leave the town, which is huge because no one leaves. So Pete McCormick has a pretty rough life. His mom just died of cancer. His dad is an alcoholic who just got fired. And he's pretty much the main target for the corrupt police officer in his town. Pete decides that killing the October boy is the only way to get out of this miserable town and leave behind his miserable life. However, the kids in this town don't know the full story of the October boy. He's not really what he seems. They know that this happens every year. It's the same thing. The 16 through 18 year old boys go kill the October boy and then they win. And then the next year there's another October boy and another winner and so on and so forth but they don't really know why this is happening and no one's telling them. So that's all I'm going to tell you for the little synopsis. This book is crazy. It's only 169 pages, which I can't even believe they fit that much into this book. It was just so strange that it was so short, but it also, felt like so much happened within those 169 pages. The narration of this book is very strange. It's in third person, but the narrator is having a conversation with you. He's talking to you, he's explaining things, he's 
talking as if you're right there and he can see you and you're just having a normal conversation while all this chaos is actually happening in town, which I find very funny and I've actually never seen a book do that sort of thing. I've seen narrations obviously in third person, but nothing quite like this. So it was a little weird to get used to at first, but I actually did enjoy that kind of narration. Um, it was just very different. I loved the idea of the October boy. It somehow made Halloween seem even more creepy and scary than it, I guess, is supposed to be. I mean, I don't find Halloween that scary because it's just a normal Halloween, obviously. I'm not in a book where something like insane happens, but I mean, you know, it makes it feel a little bit more dark and sinister, and I really, really like that. I also kind of liked that it was like almost like a Hunger Games, except instead of like killing each other, they were all after one person. Although that does not mean that uh, the kids did not try to get in each other's way, obviously. They are trying to win, but it was more like a Hunger Games where like it's one against like so many people, you know? It was very strange. I was pleasantly surprised by the plot twist and when I found out what exactly the October boy is and like what was happening, I, I actually really enjoyed that kind of twist. It was something like right up my alley, just something that I personally like in books. It's just kind of more my taste, I guess. Really, really, really liked the ending. You guys know how I feel about endings. And I really, really liked this ending. It's definitely my kind of ending and something like I would want if I was personally writing a book. So I did love that. I personally thought the plot was very cool, very fun and like perfect for Halloween or this season. Honestly, perfect all year round. You already know these books I would suggest all year round just because I love horror, but I do think it's perfect for this time of year. Not necessarily a scary book, but it did give you that gripping, nervous feeling. I'm giving this book four pumpkin emojis out of five because I really, really did enjoy it. And I thought it was a really well-written Halloween themed horror book. Plus it's just a super fun read for this season. And I really I didn't, I don't know, it really gets me in the mood for Halloween and I really, really did enjoy it. Okay guys, that's it for Bookoween day six. We only have two more days left to go. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please let me know down in the comments down below. Give me a like, think about subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.